In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the look and variance system. They're both pretty similar. All looks are are different textures on the same object, and a variant is a different shape on the same object. Now, hopefully you've watched the video before this so you know how to set up your files. It should look something like this. You should have a work folder with def, vehicle, truck, truck brand, accessory, and your shape. And then vehicle, truck, upgrade with your PIM, PIT, and your texture. Now we've already got a blue color. Let's say we wanted to add a green or a yellow. So you're going to click your game object. When it goes orange, that's the one you want. Under object properties, expand SCS looks. This will probably be called default. Just rename it to whatever you want. I'm going to add a new one. Double click and we're going to call it green. Now we need to make that texture. So you can open up your paint program. And don't forget the texture size has to be a power of two. So 512 by 512 is plenty for a flat texture. Choose a color, paint bucket, fill it. Control shift and save. Give it a name and make sure you select TGA and then save it. Back into Blender, you want to select your object, click material properties, and then click the new texture, and then click create TOBJ. Back into your folder and select the new TOBJ file that we created. And now when you click on your game object, you should Okay, that should not be doing that at all. Um, okay, let's do... Yeah, that's because I deleted an old file before, so you, you won't have that problem. But you should be able to cycle freely between your colours. Blue here and green. Now, before you export, go into your work folder. Def, vehicle, truck, truck brand, accessory, at cube from before you should have this all set up so you go into shape one yours might look a bit different from this i'm using the vnl as a base shape file so it should have shape one your truck brand here and your accessory name on the end then you can name it whatever you want so you can refer to it in game your exterior model should point to the extracted uh, file so vehicle, truck, upgrade, upgrade name, and then PIM, PIT, which is what we've got here. Now underneath exterior model to get the looks to work, type in look, colon, space, and then we're going to call it exactly the same name as we've got in Blender. So we're going to need one called blue, which is here. and then one called green. So back where shape one is, you want to copy and paste the file and rename it shape two. Go into shape two and at the top, change shape one to shape two. The rest of this line can stay as it is and then change the name to your color or texture. At the bottom where you've got look blue, you want to change that to match the color in Blender or your texture, but it has to be the same. You can't call it look my green and in Blender just called green because it won't work. So when that's saved, oops, with the game object selected, go to output, fill out your um, export path, which should be vehicle, truck, upgrade, your upgrade name, and you should see textures and PIM. Click export at the bottom. You want to choose your game with a magnifying glass. Give it a name in this box and then click pack. When 
that's done, you want to load up the game and then check out your two new options. Don't forget to enable it in the mob manager as well, but that does go without saying. So vehicle browser, truck browser, and then find your truck in the list. Go to accessories. You should have a node wherever you've placed it before. So we've got a blue cube and our green cube now. So now you've just made two new looks out of the same object. And that's the look system wrapped up. As simple as that. So this can be chrome, it can have a texture. It can be any look style you want. Now we've done that. We are going to move on to the variant system. It's a little bit different, but not drastically different. So under SES variants, you'll have the fault. And the variant part table will come into play as well. So you will expand this, make sure your object is selected, or you can just click it here. Shift D, enter. Now you can rename this. So we're going to call this one the fault and this one new. It doesn't matter what you name it here too much. Just so you can refer to it later. So you click your game object and under SES variant, we're going to have default here. You want to click the plus button and call it new. The names here have to match up here. And parts, you want default, plus icon, and new. Now, with your variant part table, it should only be lit up what's here compared to what's down here. So under default, you're not going to have default and new. You're only going to have default. And under new, you're not going to have default ticked because it will refer to that default object and your changes won't take shape. So I'm going to click on your object, click on default up here and make sure default is selected here. Click assign. At the top, click new and down in SES part, click new, click assign. So when you cycle at the top back and forth, default and new will change. So as it's our new shape, we're going to hide default. So we just have the new one showing. Click on the object, press tab to go to edit mode, press two to edge select, and we're just going to select any edge you want. Control and B to enter bevel mode, and then drag it down. And you can obviously do what you want. You can do make it round, but we're just going to make a little slope on the end. So that is now your new object. This can obviously be any shape you want, a bumper, exhaust, anything. So at the top you can see only new is selected. We can hide it, we get nothing. If we turn default visible, it's our unmodified shape. And if you have both, well, you're going to see both. I'm going to bring both back. And back into our cube folder, work folder. And go to where shapes are. We're going to copy shape two or whatever shape you want and rename it shape three. Go into shape three and rename this part to shape three. This can be called anything you want. Now, have we got it yet? Green on both, okay. Now under look, make a new line, variant, colon, and call it default, which we've got, got, we've not got named here. I'm gonna save that. to open, copy and paste, and make shape four. Go into shape four and change this bit 
for shape 4 and our variant as you can see up here is not going to be default it's going to be new save that all you have to do then make sure the game object is selected click on output properties and again export and just click pack then back into the game and you should have two more options with your default cube and the one we just made a bevel on the edge You would obviously rename these to reflect the um, name you want to call it, but there's our two looks in blue and green. And there's our new look. Just going to walk mode so you can see it. As you can see, there's our new shape and the original shape. So the one we haven't modified and the one we have modified. Now the texture here is just Blender being Blender and I probably haven't done something right. I'm not sure what it is. I imported it from an old one. And it's changed for some reason, but you can see how the looks and variant system now works. Hope that's been helpful. Um, if you've got any more suggestions for a tutorial, let me know and I'll probably cover those. Um, I may cover how to fix interior mirrors next time because that is a pretty common problem with older trucks, getting them updated to the new game version or anything from 1.40 onwards. So I hope you've enjoyed, and go and make some fun shapes, and I'll see you later.